Hey guys, today we'll be making another doll and in this video we'll be making Hatsune Miko. As always, I started out by making a sketch just so I knew what size I wanted her to be. I then added some clay to a knitting needle, pre-baked that, added some more clay and started sculpting the head. This doll is kind of a cute, more simplified version of her and I'm saying that both because the doll itself is pretty simple but also because I chose to skip some details on her outfit and stuff like that. You might also notice that my nail polish and the background changes and that is because I started sculpting this a few weeks ago and just never had the time to continue until now. The reason why I chose to sculpt the head on a knitting needle instead of the base I usually use is just because manga characters are a lot more simple and so I knew I wasn't going to be spending as much time correcting details as I usually would and therefore making it on the knitting needle right away is faster than sculpting it, pre-baking, adding clay to the back, etc. If you have any questions about the tools and materials I use or about the sculpting process itself, please check out my other doll tutorials as well as my basics videos. Once you're happy with the head, you want to bake, make an armature and start working on the body. The armature was made the same way as in my corpse sprite tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. You can then start adding clay to the torso, arms and legs, and she's very covered up, so you don't really have to add too much detail. Because her boots are so tight fitted, I choose to just sculpt them instead of making them from fabric, but if you want to make them from fabric, you can definitely do that as well. And for the feet, I sculpted them on knitting needles, pre-baked, added them to the armature and sculpted the rest of the leg. To see how to sculpt the hands, you can check out my Pocahontas or my Coraline tutorial. Those two videos go through two different methods. And once you're done, you can bake. If you have any questions about baking, I do have a basics video about that as well, so definitely check it out. For the hair, I used viscose, and I'm using this aqua color that I got off eBay. It's the closest I could get to Hatsune Miku's actual hair without having to dye it myself, so close enough.
Once the glue had set, I did add some more hair to the back than what you see in this clip, but I didn't get any footage of that. For the face, I just used acrylic paint and then I finished off by glazing the eyes to give them a nice shine. I've also had a couple of people comment and ask when I'm going to be uploading the bell tutorial. Now she was meant to be the next doll tutorial and then I had to postpone it. Right now I can't say when exactly that tutorial is going to be up, but all I can say is that I currently don't feel like making it. To make a simple outfit, I first made the sleeves by just gluing some fabric onto the arms and trimming it. For the skirt, I painted a rounded shape using the blue paint on a black piece of fabric, then cut that into tiny rectangular triangle type shapes and glued those together. Trim off any excess length and glue it onto the doll. The main portion of her shirt was made in three different pieces, two for the front and one for the back. Then I added a collar and her tie. As I've mentioned, I kept this pretty simplified, so for the details on her outfit, I just used acrylic paint to make kind of a quick version. I then styled her hair, so I first put the hair up in pigtails by using two small elastics and then for the bangs I just used glue and my fingers to style it. And in case you're wondering, the reason why I waited so long with this doll before adding the head to the body is simply because I wanted to avoid getting the hair too tangled when making the outfit.
Lastly, I just made the fastest version of a headset, so I made that using two squares of fake pommel clay and a strip of fabric. And then for the microphone, I just bent a head pin, glued it onto the headset and cut off any excess. I also used pommel clay to make her magic floating square elastics, and after baking, I just glued them onto the hair, painted the red stripe, and you're done.